In this new episode of Tech Tuesday, I feature this new device by Amazon called the Fire TV Blaster. Welcome to the new episode with me, Danny. And today we'll feature the Fire TV Blaster, a new uh, device by Amazon released around the end of 2019. To be specific, it was released on the 11th of December 2019. What's amazing about this tool, it's, uh, it's based off intra infrared technology and it'll allow you to connect your TV, your surround system and your receiver to a Fire TV app and also to your Amazon Echo device. So basically all the commands that you would normally do through your remote control by pressing on the remote uh, could be done now through voice. And this is a really nice tool. Now let me start by saying uh, I was very excited when it was announced uh, a month before its release to the market and I started googling about it but obviously there is not much information except the marketing page that Amazon has created. And it's a pretty nice um, device as it seems so I immediately ordered it and the day it came I set it up. Now today I will talk about my experience with setting up this device and also about what I really think about it. Should you own it or should you skip? All right, so here's the device. It has uh, an IR uh, input and a USB input as well. And here we go. We are gonna plug it this to the outlet uh, by plugging it to the USB port. And the other one is just an extender, an IR, an infrared extender that goes right here in this mini plug and uh, you can remove all these plastic stuff. So the extender can go anywhere where it is not accessible directly uh, vision-wise. So you can put it here, for example, to extend uh, the receiver and on top where you have your TV, you're gonna have the main device. We hooked it up to the internet and also to the power. Um, when it's blinking, it just means it's looking for your network. Uh, as soon as it finds it, open up your Fire TV app on your phone and make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi as all of your other devices. Then you can start seeing Danny's second Fire TV. This is a USB 4K device that I bought recently. So I'm just going to select that. And by doing that, I'm into that mode where I can see Fire TV Blaster. Clicking on that. Um, gives it just a few seconds and then we can see the device being detected the first fire tv now this step is fine now we need to start our fire tv app on our tv itself so all we have to do is just turn on our tv basically and go to our uh, fire tv uh, application and then go to settings uh, move on to uh, equipment control and under here, I'm gonna click Manage Equipment. You can see we have TV, we have Fire TV. I'm clicking on TV and we have all the options we can control. Right now, the volume increments are five at a time, but if you wanted to move faster than that, you can always uh, increase that to about 10, which is actually the maximum that, uh, that the device would allow you to do. Uh, moving on, we have infrared options. I wouldn't change anything in that setting. I'm just going to keep it as is, but just know that there are settings there you can go ahead and, and play around with. And moving on to the input change options, uh, it's set by default to cycle through, which seems to be the default for most TVs. Basically, when you move from one input to another, you just keep clicking the input button and it cycles from HDMI 1 to 2 to 3 to whatever input uh, you have on your TV. So I'm keeping it at this setting. And one thing I've missed, so I tried immediately, I was so excited, I tried saying, uh, Alexa, oh, turn on TV, turn off TV, it didn't work. And I was very curious, and it turned out, first of all, that the default was, current TV was LG. 
So that's wrong. My TV was sharp. So I had to click on that and say change TV. This is something you will not find in the uh, instructions. So make sure you, you do that. Now it detected my sharp TV. So I'm going to accept it and say yes. Um, and it actually detected the Fire TV Blaster as well. Uh, now that it's connected. Uh, so the first step here is to um, make sure that the TV blaster LED light is off, which means it's already connected. And it was for me. So I clicked yes. And now the first setting is for the on off button, the power mode. So that is what you have on your new Fire TV remote controls, the physical ones. So click that and check if the TV turns off, then click it again. And when it turns on, please make sure to click the yes. So um, this is just making sure that the remote is being identified. The next is sound. And this is where it's gonna play for us a brief uh, audio. And it's gonna ask us to increase and decrease the volume using the remote control. So if that works fine, then you're good to go. Click yes and move on to the next one, which is the input for your TV. Uh, for me, it's HDMI 3, and the reason for that, that's where I have my um, my Amazon uh, devices, like the Fire TV. So I'm just going to keep it at 3. But for the next step is to actually, it's asking me to change the input using my own remote, uh, the TV remote. And then when I toggle to another input other than the Fire TV input, which is HDMI 3, I'm supposed to click on the forward button. And that should, in theory, if everything is fine, it should bring you back to input where the HDMI 3 is, basically uh, back to Fire TV. And if that's correct, then guess what? You click on the yes button and then you're pretty much done with this major step. I would say it's a major step, but believe me, there are other steps you need to do. So. Uh, in the next step, they are asking us to open the Alexa app and go to the menu, to the settings, and to T and video. So let's start that. If you don't have Alexa app on your phone, please install it, update it, do whatever it needs to be done, and then click on the menu, go to settings. As you can see here, you scroll down a little bit, and then you have TV and video. Click that, and you see a bunch of featured applications that actually integrate very well. It's all integrations with the uh, with the Amazon ecosystem. Uh, so when I go first to Amazon Prime Video, it's kind of confusing. This is the first time I got confused because there's nothing I can do. It says, sorry, we could not find any device to link. The reason for that, because it's already linked. So I go to Hulu and then at the very bottom, you don't even see it unless you scroll, link your Alexa device. So when you click here, this is a nice step, provided you remember your Hulu username and password. You go ahead and type it in, log in, and voila, you have your successfully linked. It all sounds so pretty and it sounds like everything is going to work magically. But then you go back to this page and this page is the most confusing page to me. Now I do have two Amazon Fire TVs, an older model, which is Fire TV, and the second Fire TV, which is the 4K that I bought recently. So I'm trying to set it up using the Danny's second Fire TV. And when I click on the link, it brings me back to this page where it says manage devices. Now, I believe I've done that step already. So it kind of feels a little bit uh, like you're in an infinite loop in some parallel universe. It's just a little bit confusing to me. What am I supposed to do? And trust me, uh, this step should have been done a little bit better by Amazon, knowing uh, their engineers, their UI UX designers should at least work together. So nothing really worked. So I'm going back here and selecting the devices to connect to second uh, Fire TV. And then I go back to this screen, which is also confusing. You don't even realize you need to click on these uh, to actually select them. That is to me is a little bit confusing and too much minimalistic. Uh, so when I click on both and I say link devices, um, I'm thinking I'm doing something right here. So I'm just going to click link devices. And as you can see, I go back to the screen. So I try it again. Mm -hmm. 
and nothing happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect the second one and just keep the very first one uh, selected. And that seems to work. Alexa, open Hulu. Getting it from Fire TV. Alexa, play Holidays from Hulu. I can't do that on Hulu. I can use Prime Video or Netflix. Which would you like? Prime Video. Getting Holidays from Prime Video. This will not work on its own and you still need to have a Fire TV uh, 4K or a Fire TV uh, USB device uh, and also you need uh, the Echo, Amazon Echo or the Alexa app and the Alexa device itself whether the, it's the standard one or the mini ones. Anything will work but you have to make sure you have the Fire Stick uh, Fire TV stick and also you have to have the Alexa uh, in your home because that's how you're gonna communicate with the device. Uh, this doesn't have a microphone, it does not have any intelligence of its own, it uses the other devices, it's merely an infrared uh, receiver that will uh, help you connect all these pieces together. So be careful about that and um, if you want to purchase it, it's a great uh, device, I suggest you do, but make sure to be ready for at least half an hour of setup because setting up this little thing is not easy. You have to go through um, the device itself, so physically you have to put the device where it needs to be, hook it up to your TV and what, whatnot, or to the power, uh, power outlet, and then you have to go to the next step, which is setting up um, certain things on the Fire TV application on your phone. And after you go through all these steps, you still have to go to the Alexa app and set up additional stuff if you want it to do more things. And so it's really a bunch of device instructions that you have to go through. So make sure you are aware of that before you go ahead and buy this. This is not for the faint of hearts. Don't expect this to just be a plug and play tool. No, no, no. You have to spend some time, at least half an hour. So watch this video and I hope you uh, learn from it. And until a new video, take care.